saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way Hello friends, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new here. Hope that you can subscribe and stick around. I create a lot of cleaning, organization and lifestyle content and this is my first cleaning video of 2023. I'm getting into those new year vibes by doing a full house clean. My primary goal for today, as you can see right now, is to take down all of my Christmas decorations. I love Christmas time. I love having Christmas decorations up around the house. It just creates a real festive and upbeat atmosphere. But at the same time, it also really irks me because I am such a minimalist and a clean freak. So having all of this stuff kind of cluttering my space as much as it is beautiful and I love it. It also just makes me like super anxious. So I was pretty excited today that I could take it all down and show you guys that process of putting away all of my decorations and then cleaning up my space afterwards. As you can imagine, I've got a lot of tinsel and glitter and dust that I just couldn't get to while all my decorations were up. So it feels really good to have a clean space to go into 2023 with. So this spare room kind of has a dual purpose. On the one side there, you can see my bookcase, which I use quite often for a lot of my YouTube backdrops and thumbnail pictures. And then on this other side in the foreground here, we've also got all of our gym equipment. Over the holidays, I actually had my sister and her partner stay over and they were sleeping on a blow up mattress in this spare room. So I actually moved the gym equipment up against the wall to create room for the blow up mattress but also I'm going to keep it there because I like how much space it leaves in the center of the room it means I can really spread out and get my yoga mat out and I've got heaps of room to kind of exercise or do whatever I want there so I'm going to keep it that way I'm also going to do a slight little bit of a reshuffle on my bookcase I have I've been talking about recently how I am getting a few more books than I have space for so I did need to put one of our boxes up the top there so that I could maneuver the photo frame down to the bottom shelf and allow for a little bit more room for books and also to show off my red books on the top shelf once that's done the last thing I needed to do for this room was to zoom about with the vacuum cleaner and just bring in the few items that I took out so that I had a clean slate while vacuuming and now we've got a beautiful bookcase and a very clean tidy and virtually empty spare room you know I do anything to be in your arms again so give me a sign give me a sign oh give me a sign baby give me a sign Typically when I clean the house, I do it all in one day and I kind of like to get it over and done with. But as you can see here, I'm wearing something slightly different because it is the next day. So for this video, instead of doing it all in one day, I decided that I was going to do one room every day. I am on school holidays. I have a little bit of time up my sleeve, so I wasn't too worried about that. But now we are on to the bedroom and I'm going to start off by putting away any bits and pieces that I have out and also removing any Christmas decorations I have around our bedroom as well. I didn't really put many in our room, but there were a few nutcrackers and some picks that I wanted to put away as well. I got Dave to help me move out his bedside table and 
dusted behind it. It was gross. Mine was probably even worse. And then I literally took as many things out of the room as I could. So our plants, the side table, and then I took everything off both of our bedside tables and took those out. That created a clear space for me to go around, as you can see here, and do all the skirting timbers and also just to wipe down all the bits and pieces we had on our bedside tables and the tables themselves. So give me a sign. Between going behind the bedside tables and the bed and then underneath our wardrobes, I managed to find a lot of dust in this room. So safe to say I had a pretty good time with the vacuum cleaner. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling, we tore down my wall. I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, I could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. Like strangers again. I thought we'd never fall. Could have tried much harder. The last job I needed to do for the bedroom was take my two fiddle leaf fig plants out and give their leaves a good wipe down. I just grabbed one of my microfiber cloths and just wet it with cold water. I didn't put any products on it and I just wiped down all of the leaves. That just helps them to be clean and to be able to breathe in oxygen a lot better. So it's kind of necessary to do every now and then. The final day of this cleaning video, I am tackling the living slash dining room and going to start off on the dining table, which was pretty well filled with all of my Christmas decorations. And I knew that there was going to be quite a bit of glitter and other debris. So I was quite excited to tidy this up and get the table all nice and wiped down. Better get started. It's time to get my head up again. You said that you had to. I'll try to forget you. Just didn't think we'd end up this way like strangers again.
Just like my bedside tables, I very rarely take out the TV unit and give it a good dust behind there, but it was well and truly in need of it. Not only did I dust the skirting timbers and the floor, but I also dusted the leads to the television and the Sony, because they were covered in dust and grime as well. And you saw just before, I got a whole heap of disgusting mess from that little situation. So I probably need to do it more often. Then I'm going to go and tackle the coffee table and vacuum down the lounge. older fibro house that has like no insulation and gets air and water in it just about everywhere so mold is kind of a problem and the first time that I wiped down the windows from the inside I realized that they were covered in specks of mold so I've made it a habit to do that more frequently and thought that I would go and do this big one in the living room and I also ended up doing the little one in the kitchen as well but I probably will go back to both our room and the spare room and do those windows also. Now I'm going to zoom around the entire house and vacuum even though I vacuumed both the spare room and our room the previous days I did go and vacuum both of those again because it has been a couple of days and I just wanted to make sure I had a clean floor surface prior to starting to do the mopping. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my first clean of the new year. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. With that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.